Today we have the session, the block 4 MMPM001, unit 12. And today's topic is problem recognition and information search behavior. So the contents are introduction, importance of problems recognition, and overview of problem recognition, threshold level in problem recognition, problem recognition in the industrial buying process, and information search. So problem recognitions mostly when we are going to see that is uh, due to the external or maybe due to the internal that is the stimuli which is affecting that is uh, if it is external mostly marketing stimuli sometimes we call as we have the knowledge regarding uh, Howard set model that uh, that particular cases we have seen also that particular inputs how input is it happening then angel blackbird minion model cases that is marketer dominated stimuli so marketer dominated stimuli mostly we are going to talk about uh, what is it the different kind of advertisements are available in the market and which advertisements uh, have uh, certain things maybe due to the color maybe due to the good uh, picture uh, or maybe the celebrities or any kind of discounts being given that capture the attention more to the customer than the other kind of advertisements. So we call them as the marketer dominated, uh, that is the things which is happening. So this stimuli is affecting our senses. When we have started this particular topic, we know it very well that uh, uh, stimulus, uh, how stimuli is going to affect uh, to the uh, customer uh, by the senses. So we have the five senses, five senses being affected and that is response on the basis of the stimuli the responses are there but all stimuli responses may not be there so that's why we are considering that when the advertisements are of the different form so some of the advertisements can able to uh, create the sensitizations by this process there is a response and other advertisements we are not sensitized and there is no uh, response is there so this particular diagram uh, cases we can able to see how marketers stimuli is creating the need recognition. So need recognition is like uh, a particular stage where we will find that uh, kind of shortages uh, of any kind of product or that is the discrepancies or differences being created, uh, what is it not available with the customers and that is available in the market or with the marketer. <coughs> so problem recognition occurs when a consumer recognizes a difference between actual state and desired state. So actual state is what is it present with you and desired state is what your expectations or what it will come from the market. So when we will find, let us say we will take an example of a cell phone. So what the models is it available with you us and what the cell phone model is it available in the market. We have always in the tendency to find out the differences among these particular products. And when we will find that uh, the difference is sufficient that particular time, uh, we are uh, finding that there is a difference between desired state versus actual state and that creates the problem recognition. So when there is a problem recognition, then we are going for the information search. But unless until the problem recognition is there, we are not going for the information search. Now problem recognition uh, is very first stage of the long process of consumer decision making process. Uh, we know it very well that uh, the problem recognition, then information charge, evaluation of alternatives, then purchase, then post purchase behavior. These are the five stages in the consumer decision making process. So, the first stage that's why it's the problem recognition or need recognition, also some of the areas we have seen. So, there are several reasons that why there is a problem recognition. So, firstly, it provides an initial clue to why a buyer buys what he or she intends to. So there is two type of things is there. One is that that product is not available with you and second case is that that product is available but what the features of the product available in the market, that feature is not available with your product. So that's why that is the actual state and desired state what the things so we have already discussed in the previous slide. So that is going to do. So clue is what initial clue is going to give any information regarding that one. And that provides this information that what is it available with you, what not available with you. So secondly, it gives a definite directions to his or her subsequent purchase behavior and stages like information. So 
uh, when uh, we are in the need recognitions, mostly we are going to see that uh, this is giving a directions that we need that particular product or not. If there is no directions that uh, this particular product is not essential, this is not recognized, this product uh, uh, values or ethical values is not good, so need recognition cannot be possible. So people may think that uh, purchase behavior will not be like that. Finally, it provides marketers with an immense scope for using their influence in how the buyers may or may not recognize their needs. So it is always with the buyers that whether he is going to recognize it or not recognizing this particular stimuli. So recognition is also depending on first is the, uh, the uh, when the stimuli is coming to us, then sensitization takes place. So always if it is not sensitized, so we are not giving much more importance to that one. So that means the stimuli is not being, uh, although accepted, there is no response towards that one. So that's why it provides marketers with an immense scope for using their influence in how the buyers may or may not recognize that. So marketer is always trying to do something new with their product, uh, maybe due to the color, shape, sizes, prices, so that they can able to capture the attention of the customers. What we have already seen in the first class of uh, uh, our consumer decision making process that consumer behavior, that AIDA model is there. A for attention, I for interest, D for desire and A for actions. So here, when the attention is there, attention being controlled by the sources. So if the sources are not so strong, then it is unable to capture the attention. That means the sources is trying to produce the different kind of stimuli and that stimuli is going to affect the five senses. So when the five senses being affected, so there is a kind of sensitization in one of those senses. So if it is not happening, so there will not be any kind of attention. So if the attention is not there, then there is no interest, then no interest is there, desire is not there, then action, that is the purchase cannot be possible. So that's why for the AID model, that is the first one that for the problem recognition that attention capture must be essential so that people will go for the problem recognition. <laughs> now let us go through this particular model to understand it very well that uh, external stimuli is influence that is internal need. So every time there is a bombardment of information from the different sources like we can say that if we are going to expose towards the product expose towards the different environment so we are trying to see that lot of advertisements through hoardings electronic media print medium that is magazines newspapers so too many things we are trying to see besides that also physical systems the product we are trying to see the uh, product price, that uh, product availability, product looks, everything we are going to see physically also. That is some extent is it affecting to us and uh, that is also uh, creating a state. So that means external stimuli is always having the desired state and internal need what we require and what is the need. So that is the actual state. So actual state cases, two things are happening. One thing is that either the product is not available, what I told earlier. Second cases in actual product, product is available, but what the features are available with the present product in the marketing, that features are not available. Or even if also the features are available, the features are quite less performed than the what the features we are going to find in the market. Uh, let us say we can compare that uh, with the product with the actual state versus the desired state. A cell phone having 2 megapixel camera available with you and cell phone having 5 megapixel camera is available on the market or 10 megapixel camera, 20 megapixel camera and you have only 10 to 15 megapixel camera. So that is one part. Second is that if the screen size is smaller and bigger screen size is yet available on the market. So these are what desired state. If you are very much interested feature wise each stage and each state on the basis of these features. So we are going to standardize that whether we require or not. First thing. Second case is if we require that we are going to see what extent we are going to many get benefit through the different features. So that is creating the desired state. What is the desired level of yours? And what is the actual levels, what you are getting it from your previous product or the product available with you. So that differences creates a uh, problem recognition. So that is going to the 
higher expected satisfaction sometime what is it happening that we have seen in the market that we are very much interested for a high end products uh, surprisingly sometimes we are changing like we can say that we are into a car uh, the basic car model we have purchased and we are price structure is let us say 4 lakh rupees and later on our expectation is for a suv car of 15 lakh so definitely that expectation is very high so to satisfy that particular expectation that is higher expected satisfaction so your expectations is very high or sometimes what is it happening that we can say that feature wise uh, you have with the 5 megapixel camera in your cell phone but your expectation is 20 megapixel or 40 megapixel uh, camera your screen size is uh, if i'm going to say that is 4 inch screen size so your expectation is that 7 inch screen size so in highly or very high expected satisfactions if you have so fulfilling that one you have your cost is also very high so that kind of need recognition can be satisfied by paying the customer has to pay more amount of money to get that level of satisfaction second is coming current dissatisfaction if you are frequent purchases if you have done through the different kind of products or if you have experienced and there is a dissatisfaction so what will happen if it is a continuous dissatisfaction on the product so your expectations level will go down and you have a minimum level of expectations it has from the product but when you are getting a better satisfaction or your expectation why it's for your expectations the product performing so then your expectations is level is going up so your expectations from the present company's product will be more so current dissatisfaction also leads to problem recognition so one is higher expected satisfaction means present satisfaction you are not satisfied you are very much interested for the higher satisfaction then the problem recognition created second case is currently you are dissatisfied with the product or dissatisfied with the services now you are very much interested to go for a product having at least some kind of level of satisfaction then also you are going for the problem recognition third case is new need you have not purchased this particular product earlier now you are going to purchase that particular product <laughs> like i can say that you have a bike now you are planning for a car so that is a completely new need you do not have a cell phone now you are purchasing a cell phone you do not have a bike now you are purchasing the first time purchase of the product that is a new need being created so you have not used that uh, uh, any kind of saving cream uh, sorry after saving lotions now you are using the after saving lotion so new need being created or you can say cleaning your teeth also you need to have a mouth fresheners or you are using some mouth wash kind of things that splas that's like all that splas being used so that particular it's a new need you are entering to a particular new field uh, like also you want to experiment to with a new hotel something that's like so this is a new need being also created so that is also problem recognition product depletion product depletion is i can say sometimes that the product is not available in the market because of obsolescence then you have to go for the new problem recognition can be possible like i can say that if you are uh, into 2g cell phones so 2g has gone then 3g is almost near up to gone and 4g everybody is in the 4g and tending towards the 5g so that means this product depletion is there that product is not some of the technology cases i can say that the software also windows xp then windows 7 people are in uh, so if you have the windows xp you cannot run any particular kind of software so it is not going to support it so product depletion is there means product is coming going to a particular stage where uh, completely outdated or further uh, uh, that means upgradation cannot be possible cell phone cases we have seen also sometimes it has written that uh, this particular cell phone can go up to uh, 100 versions of this upgradation can be possible so if beyond that came in the market so you cannot uh, survive with that particular cell phone because further upgradation is not possible so you need to purchase a new one even if also laptop cases we have seen that uh, the certain laptop cases the software being uh, installed and the minimum specification we given and that specification is almost outdated so you need to have a new one so processor cases what we have seen also dual core octa core then we have one for i3 then i5 i7 like that so when the product is almost not produced this kind of product is not available at all in the market so it is quite difficult to solve the problems arising in that particular product so what is it the best so there's a problem need recognition we created 
so you just switch over to a new product then you will get the advantage out of that now importance of problem recognition problem recognition firstly provides an initial clue as to why a buyer's uh, buyer buys what he or she intends to so first uh, the clue is whether it is essential or not you need to identify that let us say you are working with a laptop and uh, there is a screen and touch pad is there so, but still you are using a uh, uh, mouse or keyboard exterior things you are trying to use what is the need of that one second is that uh, if i am going to say that is external hard disk what is the need of that one but the point of time it will come that when you are a heavy user of the laptops it, the keyboard and this one the screen frequently doing the work very fast you want to do the work so that is the uh, the pad or digit available may not be the substitute of your uh, mouse so you need to purchase a mouse so that you can operate it very fast so you need a keyboard so that the space is much more so you can move your hand very fast than the laptops so these are the things mostly you can do so the clue is going to give it to you that this problem recognition is really a problem for you or if it is not a problem then you are not intended to purchase the product your intention may change also secondly it gives a definite directions to his or her subsequent purchase behavior stages like information search evaluation and whatnot so i told already that in the model when we are going to start in consumer decision making process first starts with the need recognition then you uh, pre purchase search then evaluation of alternatives then after that you are going for the purchase then post purchase behavior so when you can able to complete the product problem recognition you really require a particular kind of product so you what you need to do next stage you are going for the search of information so search of information cases here two things are going to happen that internal search so internal search means what the brands are companies are available uh, in your memory you want to search it that these products can able to solve your problem or not if it is not sufficient then you are going for some external search you are going through ask to the retailers you are going through the advertisements you are going through the hoardings you are discussing uh, with the company people or you are getting the information through the different internet websites so these are the things by which you are going to gather the information that is information search capacity finally it provides marketers with an immense scope for using their influence in how the buyers may or may not recognize their needs so when there is a recognition problem recognition then it is quite easy for the marketer to influence the customer but it is not possible that uh, what extent they want to purchase we cannot say that whether they are interested for the high end products or the low end products they may require a laptops they may require a tab they may require a cell phone but we cannot say that they are requiring the high end one or the low end one so that is the marketer through his convenience or through his promotional strategies uh, to affect the customers to go for a better product with a good price that is completely depending on the marketer stimuli how he can able to do that one very often this kind of things are happening that we have seen that during the flash sales by providing the new models of cell phones and other thing with the lower price which is achievable price considered by the customer so that particular price they are providing and mostly they are accepting that now types of problems recognition so first is expected and active problems so expected and active problems we are going to say that uh, we have the tendency to prioritize the problems that like that i can say that uh, i require a pen i require a telephone i require a laptop i require a car so you are prioritizing on the basis of the price or you may prioritizing the basis of the requirement let us say dot pen is instantly required immediately after that uh, laptops you require but laptops requirement is not there because you have already a laptop but transportation you have a problem so you might be going to purchase a car so this is based on the priority you are going to give that is uh, you are going to say which is a active problem which can be a, you can maintain it as a passive problem so there are problems about which the customers are actively aware and plan to solve it themselves by looking out for a potential products or a solution which resolve the problem so this is what uh, that uh, you are actively participating means uh, you are collecting the information just like i can say it's a passive one so that you are not interested for to collect the more information to take the decisions when you are actively aware and having the knowledge regarding that particular brand 
or product it is quite easy for to resolve the problem very fast otherwise if you have limited information or you are not actively participating then your decision making will be a little bit different or you may not consider the problem recognition is a problem real problem for the customers second is unexpected and inactive problems so that is expected problems and active problems you are going to do unexpected means you do not require and there are ones where the customer doesn't know if they are required to solve them or not so like we can see also very often uh, in the case of insurance people are not hesitating to uh, take the insurance uh, because that uh, neither they have the knowledge nor they are interested to spend money on that but that may be required for some extent that when you are going to pay it may help which you require you do not know regarding that one so that's why it is very important for every people that uh, to have the knowledge regarding the different kind of product so that we can say you are the active awareness and if you are not interested for that one then your expectations is not there and you are not going to solve whatever the problem arises that you no need to do that one so that particular case is your problem recognition is less and you may or may not purchase the product and you are not interested to solve this kind of problem recognition now it is the stage where we can able to discuss regarding the process and factors of problem recognition so we need to see that one is side we are going to find existing customer position desired customer so uh, we discussed already the two states so now the customers positions that means we are going to find the desired third what level the customer will get let us say if i am going to say a customer is going to purchase a 5 lakh rupees car and the customer is going to purchase a 10 lakh rupees car so here what is it happening the position existing position having 4 lakh rupees car and interested for a 10 lakh rupees car so this is the desired state of the customer so the gap is going to calculate what are the advantages he is going to get through the different features if i am going to say this is the 360 degree angle camera you are going to find the display board is very nice the back if you are going to do in the car you may get the uh, signals and the same time also camera you can able to see the back side what is it there speed wise then your power wise the wheel base size also bigger ground clearance is better so all those aspects you are going to find there is a huge gap that means what is it present in the present uh, car and what is it present with the uh, new car or that car you have not purchased or you are interested to purchase so the gap we can say that perceived gap or discrepancy that you perceive that this is the gap i am always feeling that when i'm driving my car the car is not moving very fast i am often unable to overtake properly my braking system is not good to drive uh, that one so these things can be solved through that what is your expectations that is you are going to find this particular thing can be there then this <clears throat> leads to tension so when there is a tension that uh, you are going to find this kind of things are there Uh, because you are unable to fulfill what is your dream might be the problems is that it is related to your financial positions or you are not getting uh, right track to take the decisions regarding whether you will get or not so for that reason you are in tension that the present product or with the product which is available in the market and the, sometimes also for selecting the right kind of products for uh, your kind of decisions so here the takes place the problem recognition that problem remains because that is a consumer existing consumer position versus the desired consumer position now contributed by the existing consumer contributed by the stock out so stock out means this particular product is not available or that is not there or you can say your product is outdated dissatisfaction with present stock so present product what is it available with you you are dissatisfied you are not interested that what the product is performing as per the performance you are not too satisfied like uh, the driving speed the braking system the light system everything decrease in forms like sometimes also we are going to see that the present product uh price cases that you are going to see that this product you can able to purchase the next one or not 
enhancement in fonts so even if also that enhancement of the fonts in the existing products so that is also you are going to think that the problem recognition is there decrease in fonts means you are going to find your product price is going down so how to sell it to get back the second product second is enhancement of the fonts means automatically you are going to find that this product price is going up so what you are going to do uh, i should not think about the next one i should continue with this one marketing efforts so you are going to see that what kind of efforts are marketing efforts are there so that is you are going to put to see uh, and the companies are trying to do that one so that is mostly who is going to create the gaps and all that now desired customer position is contributed by that recognition of the new need situation so companies are always try to create the new need that this need is not available with you so this need particular cases how these people can able to solve this particular need of yours what is it present with you generation of new wants so generation to generation also changing systems are there like what i told that the three pedal car system a b c accelerator brake and uh, clutch so now only accelerator and brakes are there so no clutch concept is there so that means the generation new wants the new concepts are coming in the market so how people can able to adjust to the new concept not to the old concept availability of the new product offering so new kind of products with no new technologies and uh, sophistications you are going to get the advantage through that one so that is also available most to you next is coming your effect of synergy products so that means dual things we we call it is just synergy means both the things you are going to get the advantages that means uh, not only you are going to get a satisfaction with the product but also the power wise then uh, the changes it is going to happen in the government sector it is uh, we have seen that the gradation being given us the standardization being given that bharat 4 to bharat 6 standard that the product they have gone for so after certain days you might be going to lose because of that you can go for this one the scrap policy also recently coming that so effect of synergy of the products means the both the cases you are getting the advantages so selling this particular product going for a new product with the advantages keeping this old as having low money so many kind of problems being are going to arise new marketing efforts so new marketing efforts is that the companies are trying to control that means convince the people with the new sets of things are there which is available which was not available with your previous car or previous vehicles so that is going to be changed and these people are going to make something new by which they can able to capture the attention of the customer so here we can able to see the process and factors of problem solution by existing customers position versus the desired customer position and existing customer position has gone through this particular thing and desired customers means what in future you are going to get and going to do so that gaps if you are going to reduce then you are retention free and there will be no problem recognition if the gap will be more so definitely the problem recognition is very strong and there is a probability that customer may purchase but the gap is less the customer is not willing to purchase now threshold levels in the problem recognition so here problem recognition represents the perceived gap between the existing and desired state of mind of the customer so always consumers are also equally going to think what extent the differences is there if the difference is not perceived by the consumer that is a great difference so what is going to do he is never going to purchase although there is a stronger marketing stimuli as we have seen also nowadays that uh, during the different festivals so different uh, e-commerce companies are going through the varieties of products they are going to show and using the different kind of Uh, glimpses means we can say that um, plusers they are going to do that is they are going for the more uh, encouraging for the happy discounts they are going to give the products uh, different means being applied also like the financial position if it is not good so they are going to provide the financial support through the different kind of uh, uh, they are platforms financial platforms so these kind of things mostly we will find that that is capturing the mind of the consumers that people have the different kind of mindset of so some of the people can be 
uh, giving more uh, desired states and that existing state versus desired state, the gap is more. But certain people cases, what is it happening that the desired state is very less with comparison to the existing. So people may not consider that is a problem at all for them. So might be continuing. If I'm going to talk that people, people, people are there in the market, those who are using very old or we can say that oldest black and white cell phones and few people are using the color handsets and uh, you will find that touch screen and everything is there. That is only because of that when people consider that for cell phone is to talk and to send SMS so that oldest one is the best one. But if the person is considering that I have to do everything through my cell phone, not only that particular thing, I am doing booking my tickets in flight, booking my movie or tickets, going through the internet, seeing my own websites or going through the mail, checking in the mail every day, see the news, go through the YouTubes and other uh, social uh, networks. So that particular cases, you are selecting this particular high end cell. So this is purely based on the each individual customers, how uh, his desired state is, uh, state is uh, the difference from the existing state, how the gap is there. So gap is more, so definitely you will find the problem recognition is very strong and there is importance. Every gap between the state of mind of a product or a service will not result automatically in its need. The perceived gap must cross the threshold level. So that's why I told that the gap must be sufficient. So what is a threshold? Threshold means we are going to say the minimum level of stimuli which is going to create the uh, sensitization of the people. If you will find that uh, uh, in the cell phone that you have a 5 mega megapixel camera and you have seen that uh, almost very less price and you are getting the 30 megapixel camera in the screen. So that is giving a, a strong boost that your gap is going more. So that is a threshold, means minimum level of stimuli which is affecting to sensitize you. So uh, this perceived must cross the threshold level if the need of the product were to become a felt need, the signal to the buying process. So uh, you feel that, yes, there is a requirement of this particular product. So that particular time, what it will ignite. So we know it very well that in the Howard set model we have read it, that is predisposition. So predisposition is completely that product has achieved the above the threshold level. So now he is very strong to purchase this particular kind of product. The threshold level refers to the minimum amount of tension, energy or intensity which is necessary for the winning of the board. So that means the minimum level of stimuli what requires to destabilize the customer. So create the tension. Then second is the energy. Your energy will be more towards to purchase. And third is the intensity. Your intensity of the purchase will go more. So you are really interested to purchase this category of product. Next is the marketing efforts are directed not only towards creating a gap between the current and desired states of mind of the consumers, but they are also towards increasing the tension level where need recognition is ensured. So marketing people always trying to disturb the customers by providing the different kind of stimuli because that uh, if the present conditions, if you are satisfied and the new stimuli is not able to create the differences with the present what the product available, so that means what will happen, the customer will not be reactive or will not purchase the product, there will be no return. So that's why marketer always trying through the different stimuli to increase the threshold level and so that the customers are in tension to purchase a particular product to satisfy themselves. Many times marketers uh, increase the tension among consumers just by comparing consumers with whom that have bought uh, their product, the tension increase the chance of leading to need recognition. So uh, when you are dissatisfied, the product is creating multiple times problem, product fails very often. So that is triggering, that is also enhancing your problem recognition and you are in more tensed. Like your product, what it is present with you is not performing the minimum level of expectations of yours, then you are very rightly taking decisions instantly. If the product is also not present, also you are taking the decisions very first. Now the absolute threshold and difference of thresholds, what we have already read, but that you need to know because that need creations can be possible or the 
uh, problem recognitions can be possible that is both the cases so absolute threshold cases the lowest level of insensitivity specific stimulus that a person may perceive with their senses is to know the absolute threshold that means your reactions will be there the minimum level of uh, 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 stimuli that it is going to affect to you so that you have a sensitization that means you can able to recognize there is just something is there so that is possible when we are going to the different shopping malls in the shopping malls we have seen that the different kind of products are there and sometimes we are asking the questions to the retailer when uh, the we will find the stimulus is sufficient to change our attitude means that is absolute threshold we, we can able to find it out this affected the senses so instantly we stop there and ask for this particular question because these threshold this look wise the color wise the product um, feature wise or performance wise the price wise, something is there which is which has affected this stimuli has affected to your senses because of that you stop there and ask the questions to the retailer so that is what absolute threshold which is creating the problem economics second is the differential threshold the smallest or least amount of the difference between the stimuli that a person detect is known uh, in the different threshold so here uh when you are going to see the two three products and selecting one of the product to purchase like we very often we have seen uh, that when you are going to the shopping malls uh, almost all the products they want to keep on the basis of categories like uh, uh, one place only refrigerator will be there another place micro ones are there another place tvs are there uh, what is the reason they are going to keep in one place not in the scattered manner because there is the place where they can compare which is looking better which shapes are better and tv cases also you have seen intense wale they have switched on almost all the tvs uh, to see the customer can start there and to see the differences in the threshold so where the threshold will be more where the stimuli is very strong it is going to affect the customer so there is a chance of problem recognition and customer may ask the questions to the retailer and there is the chance also if the retailer can explain it very well and demonstrate very nicely or companies can able to do through their different stimuli so there is a chance for the purchase and people may ask few questions on that so problem recognition in the industrial buying process so when we are going to talk regarding in industrial buying so that particular case is individual customers cannot take the decisions that is a group of people are going to take the decisions so we have seen also very often that when you are going for a bigger size products so a group of people are going there to see and observe or any changes being going to do for any particular kind of monuments so group of people are coming to see that particular product monuments how to save it and do that one so organizational buying behavior is a formal process involving multi person activities and following the laid down procedure so here what is it happening it is not the individual decisions will be taken care this is although they are going to take care but that is not the final decisions because they will take the opinion of each and every person so you are uh, in the decision making process and besides that also there are different people being involved for the different kind of products like if it is a technical products we must have also technical persons then financial persons then operational persons like that there are different category of people are there who are taking the decisions because they can able to see the different uh, aspects of the product and the different aspects of the product is uh, giving the uh, answers to that one that whether uh, they should go uh, to source this one or not the buying process begins when someone is in the company recognizes a problem or need that can be met by the acquiring group so that is also in the organizational buying process sometimes process related sometimes product related some of the products may fail just like i can say that in uh, there is a failed of your dg system in the office so frequently power failure and your dg system is not working so there is a query from the departments that how to change this one how to get this particular phone to change second is that i told that that is the practices that what the practices you are going to do Uh, this kind of practices is right or something else can be done means so we will go to we should go for the paper works or we will so go for the uh, software one uh, we do not want to keep the paper uh, for any kind of uh, works so that is also decisions by the people to uh, 
which is faster and which process they should maintain so that uh, they can take the decision instantly and that must not be a time consuming problem recognition can occur as a result of internal and external stimuli we have already discussed that uh, when we are going to talk regarding any services any product cases first we are comparing with our uh, what the product or services available with us that is sufficient or not sufficient so that is our internal stimuli is going to talk external stimuli when you have seen the similar kind of services and products in the market then you are going to compare that particular thing with yours one so what we uh, these two are different or same so that is the decisions you are going to take now information source that is what we have discussed regarding the problem recognition so once problem recognition will be over and we can able to know that customer is a need for a particular kind of product then there is a question for the information source let us say in the evening time we are very much interested for to uh, consume some food so mostly what kind of food is will come to our mind what the kind of food when you are selecting during the lunch time may not be the that kind of food in the evening time so evening time we will go for only light foods like a uh, street foods may be for a limited quantity then we may go for the chips we may go for the ice creams we may go for some kind of tea with snacks like that so this is what that different kind of or different brands of products we require uh, at the different timing so we cannot say that uh, by simply problem recognition problem recognition is that i am uh, feeling hungry but what way you can able to satisfy that one so you may consume the food lunch food or you may consume the breakfast or you may consume the evening time that is the snack so this is the these are the various options are available but information source is going to give the right options or the right kind of solutions for the problem need recognition so second is the search for information commences the moment consumers complete recognition of their need of the product and service when consumer can able to understand that what is the need of that and he finally gave him to know that yes there is a requirement of this particular product then information is not like i can say that in the uh, summer season if you are feeling hungry or you are thirsty so most of the time people are trying to think it is a cold drinks will be available so that i can consume whatever the brand name may be so i will go for the cold drinks but sometimes information search is also giving very much brand conscious when you will find too many cold drinks are available now you are going to think although cold drinks i am interested for i got my preference so why should go for a specific brand like i can go for pepsi or i can go for the coca cola it depends so it also noted here that this search process is quite deliberate and long drawn for the most consumer durable and always directed towards the satisfaction of the needs and recognized in the explained area so our process is that mostly it is related to that what uh, we require and edge for the requirement whether the product is able to satisfy that one or not if it is not need recognized or need satisfied then it's a problem like i can say that if you require a small box and the large box are available so it is not going to solve your problem you require a, a desktop then you are you want to purchase the laptop so it is not going to solve because when you are in the desktop might be uh you want to see it and you can see the bigger screen and you can go for the bigger screen and you can do the works very upon much more time so laptop cases are doing work for much more time you may feel tired or like that so it is what that uh, the product what you are thinking of to get the right satisfaction so problem recognition wise you are also interested to search that kind of product which will give more satisfaction to Search behavior is always purposive and deliberate attempt uh, to gain appropriate knowledge about a product, its brand, and its important characteristics stores from the where to purchase. So uh, we know it very well. Uh, uh, the knowledgeous people, or I can say that more educated people, are searching more information, and uh, technically sound in that particular field also they will search more information. Like I can say that. Uh, if you will talk regarding a engineering graduates a, a management graduates and a plus 2 student three of them you just send it uh, to purchase a laptop so kind of search behavior will be different because that engineering students may go for more detail about the what the features are present with the laptop management will be simply gone for the presentations how can i do the presentation what are the different softwares available to do 
uh, my writing and writing contents this thing and a prostitute student more into interested for the movies and videos and youtubes like that so he wants to enjoy that and update that is uh, video games also he wants to do that so that differs in his search for appropriate knowledge uh, about the consumers information search behavior the marketer will face the following questions so marketer always face the following problems because uh, what kind of search the consumer is going to make when there is a need and so that marketers interested to understand it so what are the questions that are coming to his mind what are the types of information search and what are their determinants so how the customers are searching are they searching in a methodical way or they are searching just like in terms of search are they serious to purchase the products so all these questions are coming and what are the determinants means what are the criteria to select a particular kind of product to solve their need requirements second question is that what is the appropriate information load that can be handled by the consumers so what is the extent of information the consumer got before purchasing any product we can say all people those are purchasing the product are highly Uh, experienced or highly uh, high awareness level is there i can say that low awareness people are there or unaware people are there then um, semi awareness people are there and fully awareness people are there so these three category of people if you are going to see that people are purchasing a car these three category of customers are there. unaware means mostly drivers are aware about that they are not, not thinking about that the high price or low price how it is going to happen but when you are going to think about the uh, high social class person so definitely is going to think about the comfort what i am going to get and what are the different kind of services but if a driver driver is not interested he is very much interested for the hard the driving what is the power so all these things he is not interested for that what kind of facilities being provided so this is what uh, the consumers handle by the consumer which source of informations are used by the consumers so Uh, here we can say that uh, ethical or unethical so many things persons are coming so we are going through the different so very rarely people are uh, studying or observing the sources strength or uh, sources authenticity but uh, day by day it is changing people are going for more authentic sources and they are depending on the authentic sources whether it is right or wrong their decision making process is based on that how marketer self facilitate the information search so uh, marketer is going to see that how the consumer is perceiving and how the consumer is searching as per his search also marketer has to uh, uh, join or add features to the product or value addition the marketer can do to the different products because if he will do what the way the customers are searching so definitely the chances will be very high the customers can purchase all the products designed by the marketers but the, here it is one thing is coming that customization why the marketers are going for the more customization more is the customization more they can able to understand the uh, information sorts of the uh, customers so when they can able to provide the products it's for the requirement of the customers so that is mostly customized products and the demand will go up now information sorts so here four things are we are going to find and that sort internal and external source process can be affected by this one so first is utility functions so utility functions is what what are the utility of this particular product what things it can do if i am going to say uh, if it is a fan so utility function is that to only to give air but if it is a table fan you can move it from one place to another place and get the solutions for that if it is a ceiling fan is that you need to functions for a buy versus a car if you are talk so car you cannot move for each and every products you can move with the car but if it is a bike you can go everywhere any corner anywhere also you can park and you can purchase so utility cases mostly we are going to say what extent this particular product is going to help us uh, during our different kind of problems product attributes so product attributes wise we know it very well very often nowadays any electronic gadgets like laptop cell phone cases this is mostly attributes oriented so uh, if you will go physically to uh, any shopping centers we are going to find every laptop sites we are going to find the specification and nowadays also even if also in the e-commerce websites when we are going to search any car bike cell phone uh, 
tablets, all those cases, there is a comparative analysis between two brands and the price structure also comparison means in the same price what the pitch is provided by the different companies being studied so on the basis of that they are going to say that uh, which is better one and sometimes the opinion the experts are also giving their own opinion which is better at that just like we can say take the example of uh, gadget guru you are going to see the different cell phone gadgets compare it and which is best and which is the next best also the experts are trying to write. You may follow and may not follow, but that is the thing. Is it. So that is a source for source also. The things are there. Importance weights. Here it is the priorities. So although too many features are there in the product, but it's for your requirement, which is important. Like uh, if I'm going to say that you are very much interested for the fuel efficiency. So all the designs in the car, you are it is playing a very less role rather than uh, if it is fuel efficient, why it's very low. But second person is more into that comfortness in the driving side. So he's mostly looking for what are the different type of uh, steering being given or uh, the space availability, good space is available, kind of AC environment provided that. So he's taking the decision. So importance is more given to that one. So priorities on the basis of that decisions are based on that one. Brand beliefs, what extent we believe this particular brand. So this brand is good brand, bad brand, sometimes what is it happening that uh, customers or opinion leaders are giving the opinion uh, regarding the brands. So very often these things are also happening in the e-commerce side that the references or we can say that uh, uh, the people that they are giving the opinion. So that plays a vital role for decision making. So most often people are trying to see the score the product score or the brand score given by the different customers. Second is the review of the customers, what they have given the opinion regarding the product, so on the basis. So these are the things mostly controlling the search process that is internal. We are going through the internal to see that this brand is good, bad, or all this thing. If it is not sufficient, we are going through also the external art to find it out, which is the good one. Now types of information search, that is, uh, in order to satisfy the recognized needs such as consumer research to both external and internal source so internal search information will be sufficient in case of loyalty based decisions just like i can say that a person is a brand loyal customer so if a brand loyal customer means he is continuously satisfying with the brands i can say that if you are purchasing an apple uh, kind of gadgets so every time apple gadgets you are going to find not a single company is nearer to that so you are not going to experiment with a new brand so what you will do, you will purchase always with the same Apple brand. So what it will happen only for the internal search, no need to go to the external search that is available in the market and you are taking the decisions on the basis of that. So that is where the consumer has a strong favorable experience and brand preferences. So your earlier brand preferences is towards that. So that's why you are going. So it is uh, equally sufficient for the impulse purchases. So impulse purchases when you are going for instantly we have seen a particular product and we are liking it because of the looks or the you have known this particular brand beginning and you are taking the decisions but most of the impulse purchase discusses that is by the looks, shape, sizes or it has a specific character or it has a specific kind of things which is not available with any other product so that creates the impulse purchase attractive packaging unusual low price being given vintage display of the product stimulate consumers recognize this particular need of the product. Now factors that are likely to increase the source. So product factor. Product factor is that long inter-purchase time. So if you are long lasting or frequently used products, so you are infrequently used products that you are going to say, uh, you are thinking of that one. Uh, once I'll purchase uh, too many days, I can able to use it. So that frequent changes in the product styling, that is also creating a product uh, problems like uh, frequently changing cell phone cases we have seen there is a frequently changing the feature so that's why uh, earlier cell phone was in uh, consumer durable now it becomes the fast moving consumer durable means people are changing their cell phones uh, very fast because of that the product styling and the features are changing very fast frequent price changes we have seen also the price changes are happening with the products because of that also our search means any brand you are liking most and now the price is going up means you are searching something else is available with the same price like that high price volume purchasing you are high quantity of product when you are purchasing then you are going to think that which brand will be better like we can say that if somebody is going to purchase the wear or the home 
so that particular kind which brand of wear they will go for that is they are going to think about that then high priced high priced cases also you are going to see whether you want to continue with this particular price product or you have to think something else brand is available many brands too many brands of products are there just like i can say that day to day the utensil cleaning the floor cleaning the mosquitoes and other cases you are finding too many brands are there so these brands are not uh, so popular so you can switch over from one brand to next brand so that particular is also there much variation in features so you will find the features wise Uh, some of the product cases you will find that is there is a extraordinary features which is available so you may select that one and reject the previous brand one that is going to happen then uh, situational factors uh, that is uh, experience you have seen that hotel experiences you have seen that a, a new kind of things first time purchase you are going to do no past experience on that particular thing so that is going to happen also on satisfactory past experience so you are not satisfied uh, past experience you have gone through any particular product or services you are not so satisfied social acceptability you cannot accept just like today i can say that the jeans pants are coming with the uh, uh, that means you will find caught in the different places uh, so so people are not some of the people are not going to think about that yes it's not good why should i purchase with a tour dresses so these kind of things people are going to so here is not accepted the purchase is for a gift so that is also different kind of products prototype products looking attractive like that the product is socially visible so in the public forum you want to give somebody as a gift so that is socially visible kind of it. people are going to go for the gift so value related considerations also like that all alternatives on the both these are able and is a consequence family members disagree or agree on that particular product product uses from important reference groups you are going to say that your reference group may be family and other people are going to uh, select that particular kind of things then the purchase in cause ecological considerations you have to see that it is ecologically feasible or not and many sources can be information consumer sir demographic then you are going to say that which demographic are belong to your child children or students like that well educated high income then you are white collar occupations then you are select searching are different personality wise uh, very open minded your selections are different uh, low risk pursuers you do not want to take the risk you are continuing with the same brand that is the brand loyal cases in it and this is consumer problem recognition process that what we have discussed desired state actual state and uh, then memory what i talked regarding that information processing is it happening then motives it is the controlling that one memory and motives in terms of processing then a perceived discrepancy what we discussed already that discrepancy will be there then there is a change then ideal state uh, of that particular person versus their actual expected uh, this was the nature of discrepancy what is that not take a consumer problem denial excuses uh, you can say that i do not want to purchase because this nuance is not there so not take a consumer denial you can say no nothing is there opportunity recognition or need recognition the opportunity is there that uh, low priced instant you can purchase later on you may not get this then problem uh, delineation you can say that problem not defined properly you do not know what is the problem is all about or uh, the problem is not recognized properly so consumer actions information search purchase intention save borrow resistant and compliance uh, there is no consumer actions also you can say sources of informations that uh, different information what i talked about from the market is it coming a consumer has access to the variety of source of information he himself can involved with the different sources and can go through the e-commerce personal friends intimate consumers through the reference groups you are getting the different informations they are the sources or the some of the these your information are the face to face interactions with the different people and word of mouth you are talking and that is the kind of things that is happening so your social media is on internet advertising in store promotions package information sales personal samples and demonstrations these are the and internet digital media also you are going to find information availability in the dealers and distribution supports when we uh, dealers cases also you are getting the informations from that one and your sales personnel can also sometimes give the information samples being provided to the customers to understand it very well if it the product is completely new one so that's the kind of things then marketers influence information such as marketers are trying to do through the uh influence advertising processes different kind of advertisements they are going to give and trying to create the problem recognition selective receptions and uh, perception cases people are going to change 
interpretation of the stimuli how people are going to interpret on the basis of that they are making the decisions and uh, conveys the image of moving with the time time product changes are there they are going to accept some so thank you we can able to understand it very well that uh, there are different information source uh, when we will go for when there is a problem recognition thank you